you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger. Hi, Relax the Podcast. You are? Eric Stockland. Oh my gosh. The Eric Stockland. And yes, you're hearing my actual voice this week. That will be That's explained you? all in the future. I almost forgot what you sounded like. I know. Um, so I thought that you w- sounded like Snoop Dogg and Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, sometimes. And, and Siri? Do you say Siri or Siri? Siri. Okay. Um, some people will say Surrey. My mom is who I'm talking about. My mom says Surrey. Is that a, th- I feel like that's a city somewhere. I don't know. I just think about that song from Oklahoma. What? Surrey with a fringe on top. Never heard of it. What a chicks fringe? and ducks and geese better scurry when I take you out in a Surrey. When I take What's you Surrey? out in a Surrey don't, with a fringe the rights to the song. on top. What's the fringe? What does that mean? Like the fringe of what are you talking about? Fringe on top of what Surrey? A Surrey. What is a Surrey? Are you serious? Explain. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I, the whole, uh, what, uh, uh, I'm going to explain why I'm talking a little bit later, but for now I'm going to rest my voice and you're going to hang out with my brother to give yeah. my, so I don't do a We're whole We're trying to give your voice, to your vocies moments. some time off. So there's going to be, my brother's uh, going to come hang out. You have a special you. guest, your brother, uh, but then I'll be Christopher. Back. There's some music. Yeah. Some games. Some games. Have fun. Shh. I'll see you later. Okay. Hello and welcome to Relax, uh, the podcast episode 116 next to me is uh, not Colleen. It is her, her brother. That's her, true. Her older brother. Christopher, That's true. Christopher Ballinger. That's me. Hi. Uh, and he's agreed to help me out with a segment here. And I thought it would, it would be awesome to do a little dad competition. Oh, it's a competition. Yeah, it's a competition. I wasn't aware we were going to be competing. I, well, I thought about asking you advice because you have, uh, you've been doing it longer, the dad thing. I have. So I'm sure there's bit. some like wisdom there, you know? Maybe. Some, every like, kid's different. So. Okay. Every parent has to be different. There's no like general nuggets. I mean, there are some general nuggets, but I feel like you, you have to adapt just as much as anything else. Right. So yeah. Um, well, I but, wrote, I, but I'll try. Okay. Well, I wrote a game. Okay. A competition, if you will. Are there medals? Do I win a medal at the end? If you need a medal, sure, yeah. Well, I don't need one. It just would be nice. So you have six children. I do, yes. I have three. So you, you do? Have, that yeah. happened fast. <laughs> it's really crazy that to say fast. Um, And that's more children than I have, the amount of children that you have. Double, almost. Um, so I feel like you might win this contest and, and win a medal, um, but who's to say? I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing yet. So let's. It's let's, silly. Let's Are you ready it. to begin? I am ready. The what should we call this contest? I kind of I, I wrote like who's your daddy, but that didn't sound good. Yeah, no, probably not that. Top dad. Top dad. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <That's> not good <laughs> either. <laughs> what do you got? I don't know. Uh, dad stuff. Dad stuff. Competition. competition. <laughs> okay. How many multi-tool pocket knives do you own? Hmm. That is a good question. Thank you. I'm going to say two and a half. Two and a half? Yes. What do you mean? Because I, well, okay. So I've got, I got the Leatherman, uh-huh. which is a, it's like pliers. I'm that aware. Become, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And then Jessica got me, Jessica's my wife. Uh, she got me while in Switzerland, a Swiss army knife. Oh, cool. That's engraved with uh, our initials in it. Oh, that's very sweet. So that's, that's two. And then I've got like a key that kind of has a knife on it, but it also does a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Mm. So it's supposed to go on a keychain, right? Okay. So it's not, it has a it's blade, a key? but it's shaped like a key and you can, it, it has like Allen wrench uh, things on it. And like, you can use it as a wrench and as like a saw and as a knife. Okay. So that's the half. Yeah. I wouldn't count that as a whole one. So I'm sorry, yeah. solid two, I'm maybe so- two and a half. Yeah. I'm sorry, but according to our judges, uh, <sighs> that doesn't count. And I have three. Oh man. Be- I'm being replaced. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Not forever. <laughs> you're, but you're talking. I know. I'm talking a little bit, but I just came in because I, I was jealous. I was getting FOMO. I'm going to sit in the background. Yeah. Watch this. Is she the judge? Yeah. She can judge. So do I get the half point or no? One is not shaped like a knife. It's shaped, shaped like a key, but it has a blade and is a multi-tool. It counts? It counts, it counts as a half? Okay. Okay. Two and a half. So, well, I win because I have three. That's what I'm saying. Because for you three consecutive Christmases, Colleen Ballinger has bought me a pocket knife multi-tool from Amazon. 
I don't the think same she remembers one? that she. Wait, is it the same one? They're, they literally are the same ones. That's amazing. <laughs> have, well, two of them are the same one. You You'll never have to and sharpen you buy them. them every year. You just toss the one that's blunt and just move on to the next one. Yeah. So one point me. Okay. Next question: How many Henley T-shirts do you own? Oh. This, this is, is a big dad thing. You graduate, you graduate from t-shirt to Henley t-shirt. It's a t-shirt, but it has, for some reason, three buttons right here at the top. Just three, yeah. I have total. And this wouldn't count. This wouldn't count because this is a polo, polo right? No, yeah, this has a polo. Collar. It's not a Henley. It's, it's a no collar, three That's buttons. That's pretty dad, Yeah. Though. This pretty is dad, very dad. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I am going to say that I have three, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, sorry. I, I use... Uh, <laughs> Stitch Fix, and so oh, okay. they come to me in a box, and I, they I have lost count. this podcast before. Yeah, oh, no wonderful. More. Yeah, hi. Uh, yes. Um, so I think they've sent me three. Mm-hmm. I've never bought one, but I've kept the ones that they they've sent That's me. Good. I haven't That's sent good. them back. Well, I'm sorry, three. Christopher. I have four Henley T-shirts. I feel like this might be wardrobe. rigged. You 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 came up with these questions. Uh, uh, next question: True or false? <laughs> espresso or drip? Oh, espresso. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you win that one. Yes. You get that point yes. because I only have drip coffee. Well, I I like it because it's more tactile. It takes more for me to make it. Okay. And I that's a very dad thing, I feel it's like. Too much free time. Like if I'm going to cook, uh-huh. I've got to do it on a grill, right? I've got to like okay. make it more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah. I think you've and, outdadded me on that, that you have full on make espresso yes. and I just do drip coffee. Yeah. Um, next question. So okay. you get that point. So it's two, two to one right now. Uh, next question. How elaborate is your internal temperature thermometer for grilling? Um, How elaborate is your internal temperature thermometer on a scale when you grill on a scale? Like, is it like, do you have this really crazy good internal temperature? I use the meteor. The, I'm sorry. It's called the meteor. Okay. Thermometer. Didn't you get me one for Christmas? I got you a similar one. You this got one's one a little, for Christmas that so wasn't this as one's, good. This right? one's a little better. Okay. Yeah, I found it after I got you guys this, um, but uh, it is, a, it's like a little, <laughs> it looks like a silver toothpick. You stick it into the meat. Okay. And then you look at it on an app on your phone okay. and you can select how well done you want the specific kind of meat and it'll beep at you when it's, when it's getting close and you got to take it off that and let it rest. That to me sounds fairly elaborate. It's very elaborate. And you know what? I think you get this point. Yes. Because you got us one for Christmas. We lost, I lost, I lost one of the pieces. Oh. Uh, and now I just use the same one where the battery, like it's like one of the, it's like a, it's like from Marshall's. You just, and you have to physically stick it in and then it says the temperature, but the, the back that holds in the batteries has fallen off. So now there's just like masking tape over a battery in the back. It doesn't sound as nice as yours. I have to go off Google Ross to say that um, I have bought, or have received as gifts so many uh, internal thermometer thingies for meats and things. And every single one, I'd say at least seven, Eric has used while he was grilling, very dad of you, and left it outside and it gets ruined in the rain. Every single oh, one. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty dad. That's, that's pretty common. That's a common thing. I've done that as well. Um, so I'm kind of on the Thank fence you. now. Should I Back get you the meteor or for Christmas? No, or should no, I just? No, no, I'm saying that I think Eric wins this one because that's the most dad thing ever. Oh. No, he, is, that wasn't the question though. It was the like judge, who, had, who the right judge now is stepping in, <laughs> no. throwing the flag in it's here. It's tied. It's tied two to two. Okay, because you you use a more elaborate grill currently. Thermometer. Yeah. Uh, wallet. This is a multiple choice question. Okay. Trifold. Okay. Billfold. Okay. Card wallet. Okay. C and D fancy metal magic wallet. Um, I don't know what if this counts as a billfold or a fancy metal. No Velcro there was not a Velcro option. I mean, this, that's, that's kind of a that given with up. a trifold. Trifold's got to have some Velcro or a snap. Okay, yeah, yeah, Velcro with a trifold, sure. Um, but no, um, I've gone through all of those uh-huh. for sure, and I think now I use it's like a carbon fiber oh, card uh, with with a clip on it. That sounds like one of those fancy ones. I think it is a fancy one. Okay. Does that, is yeah. that a good thing or a bad thing? Cause it's I good feel for like, you cause I think you win the point. Cause I just have like a leather card wallet. Okay. Okay. How many cards can you hold in your wallet? Oh, infinite. It's, oh, it's got elastic. Yeah. Oh, it has elastic. It's, it's connected. You, I can show it to you. <laughs> pictures? Oh no, I don't have it. I don't have it on me. Do you have any pictures in your wallet? Um, they're on my phone. Hmm. I, <laughs> 
I have like an old Polaroid in my wallet. Of you and our kids. That's, that's pretty more, that's, pretty, that's dad. pretty dad. Ooh, I, I would argue that having the thicker like like wallet is that gonna is be the more dad wallet. Agree. Yeah, that's what I thought too yeah. originally writing this game. So fine. So are you so you're yeah, winning now? You win I, okay. Yeah, I'm giving you the point. This I don't I don't know if I like this judge. You you oh, thank you. that one. That was okay. more, that's more dad. Man. This is a tough, Three tough to competition. Two. How many number one dad mugs do you own? Hmm. Zero. I have a number one wow. husband. Which I kind of think like judge helps, a, yeah, but it's, it's not. not a dad yeah, no. I have one. I thought you were gonna have more. No, you my, have six children. I know. And you've been through many Father's Day more than more than me. I have. I have. Now they know what to get me. How many poopy diapers have you changed today? Today? Yeah. Oh, you might win this one. <laughs> two. I've changed uh, two. two. It's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Uh, tiebreaker question. Okay, all right. How many two glass whiskey sets that come with whiskey stone ice cubes do you own that you've never used? I don't own any. <laughs> oh, really? I have like six. <laughs> I have so many of those. That's all anybody gets to me is multi tools and two glass whiskey sets with those stones that you're supposed to, I think, put in the freezer. Yeah, you got to freeze them. Because it doesn't like melt in the whiskey. I've never used them. Well, you don't want to dilute your, right. your I whiskey. Right. I think that's the point of the, the invention. Yeah. yeah, but I've never used them. Yeah, no. But I keep getting them. You have none. I If I had them, I wouldn't have time to use them. Yeah. So. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah but I, I really thought you were going to destroy me in this game. No. Yeah, no. Round. It's still going. Oh, I didn't we, know. Yeah, yeah, it's still going. Round. Yeah. You can do a bonus round after. Okay, ready for the next question? I, have to, I was born ready. Well, I once my kids were born. Once they were born, your yeah. kids were born, and you were ready. Apple Watch, yes, or Classic Watch, Dad. Apple Watch, Dad. Or I, I am an watch? Apple Watch, Dad. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm now a Classic Watch, Dad. You know what are you using? What are you using it so for? One dad of the wise? main main uses of my Apple Watch when I first got it was to track contractions. Oh, freesh. I'm going to I'm going to lose that point. I don't know. I thought I was going to win that point. <laughs> to track contractions? Yes. Did we I had an that? I had an app no. on my phone that also worked on my my watch and so I would track time contractions. Mm -hmm. Uh I forget which kid it was for though. <laughs> for that first one. First first time I used it. That's pretty cool. That's great. Yeah. I didn't know that That's they had that. That's pretty dad though. That's super dad. Yeah. I thought I was going to win that one. You, I don't know what the score is now. I think we're. Tired. Let me let me ask you a question. Sure. When you were in, this isn't dad related, but when you were in high school, uh -huh. what kind of watch did you have? Casio. Okay. G Shock. Maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think Casio. I had a pocket watch. Pocket? No, you didn't. I did. Which pocket would you keep it in? Because traditionally, pocket watches were for like a vest. Yeah, but you know, it would. I was just a, I a teenager with a chain. I had oh, a little you had like chain. A chain. Yeah. I had like a skater chain wallet. I had that. I had that for a while, and then I was like, you know, everyone's got a. A skater chain wallet. Yeah. I'm going to go old school, get a, a pocket watch. Where did you get the pocket watch? I don't know where I found it. It's some whole, store, some store. Did you press a button on top and it would like flip oh, open? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not digital. No, it was not digital. Wow. It was old school. Yeah. I don't know why I brought that, that up. I just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, family size SUV. Mm -hmm. It's another multiple choice. <laughs> okay. A, family size SUV. Okay. B, minivan. <laughs> C, refurbished hotel airport shuttle vehicle. Uh, D, none of the above. I got a brand new airport okay. shuttle vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a minivan. I think you win that point. <laughs> I will say whenever we pass any sort of like an airport shuttle like <laughs> vehicle, we're like, look, it's Christopher it's and cousins. Christopher Jessica. Because <laughs> Flint's are doing it. So it's the cousins. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, we started road tripping in that this this last couple it's months. It's got to be great and convenient. It's really, really cool. It's like being in an airplane. We're constantly, we only have three and we're constantly like, this is not big enough. Yeah. It's you got to get that 15 passenger. 15. Well, I took out the back seat, so technically it's not 15 anymore. It's like okay. 11. But yeah, but you have like storage and stuff. And yeah, like, we got space. I can put the whole wagon unfolded in, in the back oh, of my jealous. my van. How dirty is it on the inside? The van? Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. Is there's no carpeting or anything. It's uh -huh. like you could spray it out with a hose because it's very, it's very industrial. <laughs> oh, no. You win and that point. And sometimes we have to. I think you're winning that point. But this is going to tell it all, oh, right? Great. This okay. is the, this is my bonus lightning round. You can have your own bonus round. You have to finish these dad jokes. Okay. You ready? 
How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie on it. This is so good at this. How does a penguin build its house? Ooh, I don't you know got, that I've heard this one. How does a penguin? How does a penguin build, build its, house? its house? I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to learn this new dad joke. He glues it together. Oh, Come on! Of course, he glues it together. Of course. What do you call a fake noodle? A fake noodle? Mm-hmm. Not a pasta? I don't know what. An impasta. An impasta. You're shocking oh, me right now. Oh, <laughs> so close. I was close. How much does an influencer weigh? I, I don't know. I feel like this joke's. Past my time, I don't. <laughs> I, I changed at one word jokes. in it. Yeah. How? How? What was? How's what's? How question? much does an influencer weigh? How much does an influencer weigh? Yeah. I blow in my mind. I right don't here. know. I, I thought don't you know. would just get all of these. I, I like to make up my own. I don't know the. I don't know ones that other people made. Yeah. Well, you're so good at puns. Yeah, puns that, and dad that's jokes. me making making things up. I don't. An Instagram. An oh, Instagram that's, was, that's was, pretty good. Was the, was the right answer. Okay, that's this, pretty good. This is for all oh, the marbles. It's too much pressure. When so- this is for all of it. Okay. This is you win. Plus the bonus round. When someone asks, did you get a haircut? Your response is? No. I got them all cut. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you win the game. Yes. I think. Do we still do the bonus round? I feel like there's- Is there more? Of, you there's add, more? You're adding okay. a bonus round? Can you speak? What is it? Yeah, the bonus round isn't, well, I mean- the bonus round is just for funsies. It's it's not for any points. This is yeah, just because this won. is the most dad thing. I, I was shocked there were no, I thought you were done with your game, which is when I said like, oh, mm-hmm. I can do a bonus round. Um, and I was like, why is he not doing dad jokes? So it was dad joke related, but how about, I, I think what's more important is puns. Like dads are all about the puns. Yeah, right? we are. We do so like So we're going to do a pun round. Pun off? A pun off. <laughs> so I'm going to mention something and you guys have to try to make I'm puns about this. it. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Here's good job for it, love you. Okay, so ready? Here we go. Are we ready for the pun off? I'm I'm very excited, guys, because outside in our garden, we're growing artichokes. And I think they're ready for me to Artichoke make for dinner. Me. So <laughs> make a pun about artichokes. Do it again, love. Oh, there's so many I can't, me? I can't pick. Because it's Man. a flower, right? <laughs> okay. How does an artichoke get she around? She likes the ones with the thicker stems. Right? Is that important? <laughs> <laughs> when you tell me to play artichokes, you always say get the ones with thick stems. Uh-huh. How, how does an artichoke get around? Leaves. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> but what are they, they leave on a bicycle because they like to pedal. Uh. <laughs> Is that it? Is there more? Uh, do you guys have any more puns? Is that it? Artichoke. Keep it? Why that, artichoke? I made it tough, guys. I just have artichoke on the brain, and I wanted to see if you could make any puns out of artichokes. That one in our garden is definitely ready There's for you two. to pick. I'm making two. That was I'm aggressive. So yeah. You're making them tonight? Yes. Yeah, you should. Are you? How are you going to prepare them? Are you <coughs> Are you boiling, or are you... Well, Christopher... Because I, I have my own. I have my own. Supposed to be here I know. For this. Christopher and I are both artichoke connoisseurs. Oh yes. Oh. We would eat just artichokes for dinner. Like I didn't learn until I was an adult that artichokes are typically an appetizer or a no, side dish. A I meal. thought it was like the meal, like a steak. So we literally would only eat artichokes for dinner all the time, and we dip them in butter as children. Mm-hmm. So now, as an adult, what I do is I. Um, boil it just mm-hmm. plain. If I have time, you can broil it or like, you know, I know that you barbecue often. Yes. Um, we've done it a few times, but yeah. typically we just boil it and maybe broil it or, or, or uh, grill it if we have the time, which we usually don't. And then it's usually got some lemon, mm-hmm. some pepper, salt. And then I make a butter dip just for old time's sake for childhood. And I also make like a garlic lemon aioli dip. What do you do? Uh, similar, but I always grill it. Oh, okay. Sorry. I I cut it in half and then boil it Mm -hmm. and then grill with, uh, with like a, a garlic and herb oil Mm -hmm. and, um, you could just eat it as is. Oh, I know. It's It's amazing. It's so good. The heart. Unreal. Oh, the heart of an artichoke. When you finally get down, take all the leaves off and scrape off a little hairy weirdos. Mm -hmm. That's the money, man. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, it's worth it. It's It's worth worth the work. No. I'll eat yours tonight then if you don't want it. it. Have you tried feeding any of your kids artichoke yet? No. That That's an experience. That's a whole like, oh, they won't too, eat much pizza. Leaf, too much leaf. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> like, yeah, our kids basically don't eat food. They, they they don't like eating food. Well, Maisie does, but the boys like, 
They're peanut butter, jelly, chicken finger, fish stick kind of guys. Yeah. I said to her last night, I'm like, you should make artichoke dip with the artichokes. And she was I looked at me like I was it's, was blasphemous. Like, I mean, like how dare you? If you speak grow that way? an artichoke in your I'm, garden, you gotta eat that artichoke. It's, it's an inedible to make vegetable. It, it's impossible to, make it, to eat. It, you are you wrong. You cannot eat it. You you've gotta make it like you gotta eat that artichoke. I'm, if you mix it in with the spinach yeah. and the and you mix it in with the cream and the, all the things, it's like you lose out on like I wanna feel the texture of that I'm, thing that I'm we grew. You one. probably get 60 calories. I'm the best 60 the best. calories you've ever it. had. And you're you're discounting all the butter. And you're hurt and wet for some reason. What are you doing with our jokes? Because that's not correct. <laughs> okay, I need to be done talking. I'm gonna go pick my jokes. But I agree. If you if you if you grow something from the yeah, ground, it's, you it's want the purest it's, version of that. Yeah. You don't wanna, yeah, you don't yeah, wanna yeah, overpower yeah. it with like yeah, there's a few of them though. And I was like, sorry, sorry, I want to dip with one of them. But well, you yeah. A lot to make a dip. You do? Yeah. What's in artichoke dip besides artichokes? Spinach. Spinach. Yeah, it's like cream, like cream cheese or, or cream a, cheese yeah. Or something like that. I don't know. You heard it here, guys. Lots of cheese. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. That was, I think you won. I, I'll do this anytime you, you want. You deserve uh, your medal. Okay. I don't have one on me. Knowing you, I'm sure next time we see each other, yeah, you're going to be like, you here's metal. this thing I made out of a, the top of yeah. a play container. And uh, and we'll, we'll do this again and see if I can't win it back from you. Okay. It can be like an, like an annual thing. Thanks so much for being on the podcast of course. today. A pleasure. Always fun to hang Super out with you. Super dad, Christopher Ballinger. Thank you. We'll be back. Is hiring challenging? Uh, yeah. Do you love a challenge? Um, also, Yes. You hired a hiring partner that can help you rise to the challenge. You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring platform that can help you do it all. We streamline hiring with powerful tools that help you get matched candidates. With Instant Match, over 80% of employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job, according to Indeed Data US. One of the things that I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so much more easy because the candidates you invite to apply are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who you know, only see it in a search. That's according to US Indeed data. Indeed does that hard work for you. Indeed shows you candidates whose resumes on Indeed fit your description immediately after you post and you can hire faster. Even better, Indeed's the only job site where you only pay for applications that meet your must have requirements. Yes, Dada. Indeed is an unbelievably powerful hiring platform, delivering four times more hires than other job sites combined, according to Talent Nest 2019. Yes, more amazing, more. Join more than 3 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post on indeed.com slash relax. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash relax. Indeed.com slash relax. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. All right, guys. Uh, if you're watching the episode, you'll notice we have an extra guest today <gasps> on accident. Um, <gasps> oh. And uh, if you're listening, you'll hear that you hear my actual voice, not a robot. That wasn't my voice. That was Maisie's voice. <laughs> Maisie is here because. Hop. <laughs> hop. Yes, that's right. Hop. Oh, is there a bunny on the page? Yeah, there's a bunny oh, on the frog. page. Oh, frogs and bunnies. Um, so Maisie's here. <laughs> so Maisie won't go to sleep tonight. No, she won't. She. So she took a short nap earlier today so then she got a second nap and that just never do the second nap that's my advice Ab, to all parents when you know you, when needs you to relax a, second nap well if you're at a point where your babies are at one nap a day the second nap's always a bad choice well as an adult um colleen as an adult if you take a nap mm -hmm. not that i've ever seen you take a nap right kind of sometimes it happens you can't fall asleep at night right right this happens to adults. Right. Now imagine you're a baby with right. no concept of time or dates right. or months. The sky. I know. It it's means nothing to her other than I have energy now. 
book? Yep. Yeah, we're going to read this. Can She's re- reading a book. Oh, she wants yeah. Eric to read a book. Oh, she just said, yeah, she wants Eric to read a book. So we have lots to discuss Five today. Five little but, wormies um, <laughs> squirm we're gonna in read the about dirt. Worms. Is it worms, maybe? Six little ducklings go. What did ducky say? Three little chickens scratch, scratch, scratch. Is this relaxing to the listeners Four right Four little Just ponies. Listening to Eric. What do ponies say? Book? What do the, the pony say? say? <laughs> yeah. Yay for eating the microphone. You're in. <laughs> okay, so Maisie's going right to be now. here while we talk. So you're going to hear Maisie talking. Yeah, you want more? You want me to do more of the book? More a book or more microphone, Maisie? What do you want, girl? You read your book. Daddy and I will talk. Um, so you want to hear my relax this week? Love? I'd love to. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, it's for the listener. Um, I've been checked out this week by my doctor and um, I am still healing. However, he said if I warm up my voice, I'm OK to talk, you know, short amounts of time. So I warmed up my vo- voice properly. I have a new vocal coach Uh-oh. who helped me out. Uh Oh, and um, so that's why I'm talking tonight. You guys get to hear my wonderful voice and Maisie's apparently. Because you've been careful and I've been very careful. Yeah, I'm warming up and doing what I'm supposed to do. And so um, you're zooming with all kinds of people to protect these cookies. Totally. So uh, you want to know who needs to relax for me this week? Yes. Is me. Um, Did you hear a count to three? I don't know if you guys can hear that. Two. But she and she's pointing to the number three. Sometimes she blows my mind. She's pointing to the number three and said one, two, three. Where's the three, Maisie? What is that? Where's the three? Where's the number three? Where's yellow? She's like, why are you guys talking to me? I was, I was busy. I was in a conversation with myself. Hello. Um, so what I think needs to relax is Maisie's sleep schedule, but also my, uh, hyper fixation on my children's passions. Like when our kids like something, the way I hyper fixate on it and obsess over the things my kids like. Oh, like you spending the past three nights till 5am making magnets. Well, I haven't done that till five in the morning, but I have done a lot of like making magnets Magnet lately. Play? Yeah. Maisie wanted to go crawl around, so she's crawling around now. But anyway, um, the kids are obsessed with magnets, and mm-hmm. um, specifically Flynn's calendar that I got him, that's like a magnetic calendar, and they were ripping off the days of the week and all that stuff, and Flynn was getting frustrated but was patient, so I was like, I'll get them their own magnet board with their own magnets, and they loved it so much that then I just kind of went crazy. I started making Didn't magnets. Make, I need another magnet board. I, that, so now I need they have to their, stop at the store to get magnets. I don't like the color of this frame of the magnet board, so I'm going to repaint it myself. I know. And then I didn't make like, my own magnets. Yeah, I made a lot of my, but well, it's because I was looking for magnets that I thought they would like. Yeah. And I found, oh, she, she's like rolling around out back there being a silly goose. Um, so she, uh, I was looking for like, you know, what do they love? They love Elmo. They love um, happy faces. They love apples. Wesley loves apples. Um, they love cows, you know, so I was looking for magnets for all these things and I couldn't find any, or I could only find in big batches of magnets where there was like expensive magnets. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just ended up making my own. I think that's great. I think that's amazing. But that I walked past it today. (laughs) Macy just pulled over Eric's, um, guitar onto the floor. Are you playing guitar, Macy? See, this is why we have to wait till they go to sleep to podcast because it's impossible to do while they're, she is singing. She is strumming the guitar and singing. She is clapping and singing over there. Anyway, I I walked past the magnet boards today. <laughs> Macy. And all the magnets that I had made. And I stopped dead in my tracks and I was like, I'm insane. Yeah. Like, why did I do that? Like, they'll like magnets for two days. And then they'll insane, just be on our wall. But insane in the way that like... I. I'd put you on like day release, you know, day like you, release. Yeah. You know, you won't be completely confined to the asylum. Oh, like I'd right. let you out for like the afternoon. Right. Yeah. Like you're not scared. I don't feel like you're threatening anyone. No, 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 no. You wouldn't hurt anybody. You're what? just, are you tired? No, of course. What? You're you just like, uh, no, I'm just like, why am I spending so long making magnets and magnet boards? Because one time they liked magnets. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's but they crazy. have loved but, the magnets that you've made. But then I started thinking about like how this is not the first time I've done this. No, I do this all the time. If the kids like anything, I get so excited. Nothing makes me happier than my kids being happy. Yeah. So I will do so what's literally wrong with anything to see them smile or make them smile. I did it with trucks with Flynn. I've done it with like other birthday parties. Obviously I go all out ducks with Maisie. We've bought so many ducks. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but like the stuff I've made, like the light wall, because they like lights, you know, just like yeah, the yeah, yeah. things I go way too full out doing for these kids just to like hope that they How, might smile. What's the limit? There's no two full out for our kids. I've gone bananas, we but go like this magnet, the time. magnet boards are wild. I'm going crazy. With these magnet uh, boards. Yeah. I don't think there's a limit. I think everything you do is amazing. And I think, uh, um, it just shows your love and like trying to like do things for their interests. But like, uh, you do, you absolutely do fi- like hyper fixate oh, on big time yeah. things that they're into. And go all in for it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's what I think needs to relax. I was walking past the magnet board today and I was like, oh, Colleen, you need to relax. Well, yeah, it's wild. Like like they liked magnets. You had a magnet board. You're like, oh, I'm going to get them their own magnet. And then it wasn't good enough. You got another magnet board. And then the magnets that you had bought multiple times weren't good enough. So you're like, I'm going to make my own magnets. Right. Um, And now you're still thinking about it and fixating on it. So like, yeah. And I'll probably make more. Yeah. Hi, Maisie. You want to join us again? She's being so cute right now. If you're just listening, you're missing out on the cuteness of her face. Well, Maisie brought over the guitar. Hi. How did you carry that? What do you, you want more? You want music? You want music? You want to sing? You know, there might be music later in this episode. Oh. But hopefully Maisie, you'll thanks be for the segue. Asleep. Maisie, you want music? <laughs> she wants more music. <laughs> Yodeling. I think she's. Oh, yodeling. how does she know how to yodel? <laughs> You're silly ghost. A one, two, three, four. Head, head shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Oh, 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 oh. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Yay! All right, I'm going to try again to put her to sleep. So you might or might not see Maisie after the next uh, break to say hi to our next sponsor. This episode of Relax is brought to you by BetterHelp. How much time do you spend on yourself in a given week versus how much time do you spend on other people? How do you balance the two? I know I uh, spend little to no time with myself uh, and have a really hard time balancing that well therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind i think this is a really important thing i I feel like i'm just reading to myself like i should be knowing this as a as a dad of young children and as a as a person in the world like you know like uh well i know like you you want to help people you want to make sure that they're settled that they're comfortable that they're safe that they're happy and sometimes that means uh you're not really focused on yourself uh, therapy can be re- a really great tool to bring that focus back to yourself and what's going on. And, and doing that um, can only make you better able to help others. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you, you, know, you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life. So you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash relax with me today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash relax with me. I got her to sleep. It took me a long time, but I did it. It was, she was hitting me. She was singing, hitting me like playfully. Like she was going, wow, wow, wow. Like yeah, I didn't whapping take her arms around and like hitting me. don't have any bruising that I can no. see. Um, um, so I took it that way. But yeah. she wasn't like, I just mean it wasn't angry hitting. It was just like silly. Yeah. She's, she's being goofy. She's silly. a silly hitter. So anyway, um, uh, lovey, how yes. are you? I feel like I I'm didn't great. really talk to you that when Maisie was here, I feel like we were both just kind of like focused on what's Maisie doing? Where is she really going? No, I, yeah, I felt like uh, insane because you were talking to me and we were talking, but all I, but yeah, I just wanted, just to, I just wanted to be entertained by yeah. her because she's so entertaining, way more know, entertaining than so us. Cute. Yeah. Um, uh, but she's asleep, which is glorious. Oh, it's the best. She's the best when she's awake, but it's also the best when she's asleep. Yeah. As with most of our kids. Yeah. You know um, how it is. Of course. It's late. It's very it's late. late. It's, it's already 10 p.m., guys. And oh, my we gosh. Left that's it. So I know. I, we haven't eaten dinner. You're we such gotta, a boomer. What? That is PM. late to be recording the podcast. We haven't I eaten used dinner to yet. go 10? out at 10 p.m. No, you I did used to not. pregame till 10 p.m. and then go when? out. Earlier in my life. Not since I've known you, I don't think. That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, who needs to relax for you this week, lovey? 
a couple things, but okay. bef- but before that, mm-hmm. I wrote a song 20 minutes ago. <gasps> kind of. It's not even, mm-hmm. a, it's a bunch of nonsense that I will talk sing while playing guitar. Okay. But I thought I did it. And so, and I'm trying to keep you from talking too much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So I talked with your brother and I also like wrote a song and it's all to just sh- make you shut up. Okay. So can I, can I play it for you now? Yeah. Okay, great. Will you hold a mic in front of me? Of course. Thank you. Okay. I don't know how this is going to go, but this is a love song. Ooh. Okay. I feel, I feel like I don't trust you though. I feel like you're lying. No, but it is a love song. Okay. It's about our I feel love. like you've said this before it's and it's like our, about making fun of me in some I'm way. I'm making fun of It's you. fine. You can make fun of me. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm making fun of you. I'm making fun of us. But okay. this is how our love works. Oh, no, I'm scared. So I think you, there needs to be a... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, ready? Whatever. Fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. I don't care. I'll eat anything. It's fine, whatever. No, I do not really and that is what we eat for dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't care what we eat for dinner tonight. Lovey, this day is gone on for so long. Get hungry, just ready. Might start a fight. <laughs> what do you want for dinner tonight? Well, not a fight, but it'd definitely be a discussion. A long one. <laughs> I know that you ordered groceries today, but it's too late to cook. Yeah. Won't you say? Uh, and I agree. <laughs> But nothing sounds good And we'll never agree on a food (laughs) There's a new place that I saw on DoorDash Mm. They make a Caesar, but it's like in a wrap So a Caesar wrap You don't no. I know this, but try. What do you want for dinner tonight? Is this a genuine question or is this more song? McDonald's or Taco Bell. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> McDonald's or Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, it's late at night and I am so hungry. But don't say. Don't say Wendy Fine, whatever Fine, whatever Fine, whatever, I don't care I'll just have a chocolate shake And fries, it's fine Whatever I'll just have a chocolate shake And dip my fries in that It is not. Yay! There's something there. I love it. Um, it's kind but of a mess. I n- pretty much never suggest Wendy's. I'm just going to say. Find whatever. Find whatever. I don't care. But you do care. Well, you do that too. I know. You you and I both go like, ah, whatever. I don't care. You pick. And then the other person picks and the, the other person goes like, ah, no, I don't want that. Right. But the darkest, the darkest of times is when it's find whatever and that find whatever like conversation lasts till like 1130. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, McDonald's or Taco Bell. Well, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. And then if I say Wendy's darkness falls and you're like, oh, whatever, I don't care. Just give me a frosty and fries. Yeah, I gotta dip the fries in the frosty. Dip the fries in the frosty, but that'll be your dinner. Yeah. Because you're so frustrated at that point and you don't care Mm -mm. and that's it. Yeah. This is a conversation we have every day. We don't have the Wendy's conversation every day. Not every day, the Wendy's part, but like the... The Wendy's is rare. But it's generally, what do you want? Whatever for dinner and Nothing it's always sounds us. good. Yeah. 
you have ordered groceries, mm -hmm. so we have groceries. Mm -hmm. but we we're, don't too to we're too tired to we're too tired to cook because the kids. We're too tired. Um, I feel like you. Could I know what we're having for dinner tonight. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. You're having that choke. I, you guys, we grew artichokes in the backyard and I'm so excited to cook them. I'm probably not going to eat them until midnight. Is it okay to abbreviate artichokes as chokes? I don't think so. I don't you know. Having chokes? I guess we're eating chokes for dinner. Chokes for dinner. Well, I'm eating chokes for dinner. She got chokes. Um, I don't know what you're having because I know that you don't really like artichokes. I literally don't know how to eat one. What are you talking about? They're delicious. and the It easy was so frustrating to watch your, your you and your brother talk about it. All of a sudden, it became an artichoke podcast, like takeover. Oh, I love artichokes. And I felt so out of place because I literally do not know. I know a little bit because you've asked for them and I love to cook for you. And you say you like the, well, I like the them bigger stems because those are better. And Thicker. Then you, and then you like, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Girth is important in stems. Yes. And then you cut the tips. Mm -hmm. You circumcise each leaf mm -hmm. one by one, which mm -hmm. is a lot of leaves. Yep. This is time intensive. And cut off like the tip too, right? Mm -hmm. The general tip. Mm -hmm. And then each of the leaves. And then you boil it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Until it turns a, a, a way less appealing color than what it originally was. <laughs> yeah. And then you take well, it out. and But I don't know what happens next. Something about butter. Well, you can broil it next if you want to or barbecue. Like we just already explained right, with my brother. Said, and, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to make those. I'm very excited to make them. But I know you won't eat that because that's one, it's not going to fill you. Not but food. But um, so what are you going to have for dinner, love? <laughs> Tell me, please. I don't know. Well, well, there's like... I'm set for tonight. I feel like I'm going to eat kid food. Like there's like random organic kind of chicken nugget things that we buy for our mm -hmm. kids. I feel like I eat most of those. Yeah. Um, what else? Maybe I'll put it in like a... A wrap? A carb friendly wrap. That's my favorite. That's the, I, it's not that I don't like wraps. Like wraps can be fine. I'm fine with wraps. Make a wrap because it's but, about filling that way. What's funny to me is that you go on wraps. You'll go like, I'm not eating carbs right now. Wraps not. Wraps and then not he carbs. eats car. He'll eat a wrap. And I'm like, do you think, do you know tortilla is, a, is a carb? Tortilla is a, is it's funny, bread. But it's like one slice of bread of carbs. Uh, as opposed to two slices of bread, which makes a sandwich. So what am I going to have? A, a half an open face sandwich or a wrap? A wrap. A wrap. Of course. I'm yeah. not, I'm not, not. It makes more yeah. sense. Makes I think wraps are fine. Logically. I don't know. Yeah. You just have never eaten one. No, I have. No, I have. I've never seen you eat a wrap. Here's my, can I tell you my issue with wraps? Let me. Sure. I'm an obnoxious salad eater. I love a good salad. I know you're not, you've got issues with salad. I put salads in wraps. But yeah, you do. But I'm with salads. Like if there is any lettuce in a salad that's like looks brown or wilty or like it's dying, it's on his last days. I'm not going to eat that piece. With a wrap, you just have to know you're eating them. And I can't do that. Well, what if I told that really is your, that really yeah, is Yeah. So it. if I make like the wrap myself, thing. yeah. If I make the wrap myself and I see yourself. what lettuce goes into it, yeah. then I can totally eat a wrap and I'm totally down oh, with it. I love it. But there's a, there's a, um, like if kind someone of a, else a makes dark, it, there's a darkness about a wrap. Cause it's like, I'm like, what am I going to bite into? You're afraid of what you can't see. So it's, it's like, like go being in the ocean. You're like, what's like underneath me? I was just going to say that. Yeah. It's like being in the ocean or being in the dark. That's why I don't like wraps. But I think they taste good. But I just had like, I just, no. I had a hey, buffalo chicken wrap the other day. You just explained it perfectly. I know. And I'm on your side and I'm now scared of wraps. See? Unless I make them myself. Because like, what if like there's a tomato in it and it has like the white hard part in the center of the tomato? I can't eat that. You know what they put in the wraps? That white part, the middle of a tomato. This is what I'm hard. saying. I don't want that. And I don't want to like have a mystery. I'm biting <sighs> into it. Is wraps a scam? No, it's just because it's like, because like, I don't feel this way about burritos. I don't feel like burritos are a scam and I don't feel scared was, of the mystery of a burrito. That's a good point. Cause now we're like, it's the lettuce of it. Burritos. The lettuce scares me. Cause there's so many pieces of lettuce when I'm eating a salad that I avoid. There's pieces of tomato when I'm eating a never salad. Met, never met a, a wilty bean. You're not going to be afraid of beans. Yeah. What? Refried beans is fine. Wilty cheese. No, it's fine. It's great. You know, it's burritos though. What? The chick is there's, there's chickens protein in there. There's oh. meat that could be cooked undercooked sure but it's not who knows where they got that meat maybe it was old meat like they're not gonna know it's in a it's in a burrito yeah but you're not gonna know from it, like you could say that about any like piece of chicken like no because chicken tender the chicken i'm talking about dark chicken dark like not dark what? meat but like dark it's in a wrap you can't see it if you can't see what's underneath the breading Ocean of a chicken, chicken nugget like chicken of the sea tuna i don't know <laughs> let's say thanks to our next sponsor guys i am not gonna lie i'm very tired and i am doing the podcast but i wish i was on my helix mattress i love my helix mattress we love our helix mattress our kids our cats 
There are random stray animals that walk into our bedroom just to sleep on our Helix mattress because it is so comfy. We've had our Helix mattress um, since they, I mean, I feel like they were one of the original sponsors of the podcast and uh, they sent us one and my sleep has improved drastically since that time. Oh, it's two years, two years of better sleep when I can get it. Thank goodness. Well, I feel like I'd be, maybe I would be dead if, if that never happened. I don't know. It's like the butterfly effect. Who knows what could have happened? The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including award-winning Lux Collection, which is what we have, the newly released Helix Elite Collection, which is, uh, we don't have that one, but it sounds really great. Uh, it's a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers and even a mattress made for just kids. So how will you know which Helix mattress works best for you and your body? Take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find out your perfect mattress in under two minutes and your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge we took the quiz uh, we're both side sleepers uh and they they matched us with the midnight lux um i don't know what scientist figured this out but he was like yo if you do this with the foam and this with the thing uh people that sleep on their side this is going to be better for them and we'll call it midnight lux and he thought of a, that scientist thought of a really good name midnight lux helix knows there's no better way to test a new mattress than by sleeping on it at your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial and a 10 to 15-year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. Everybody is unique and everybody sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and preferences. Models with memory foam layers to provide optimal pressure relief uh, if you sleep on your side, like we do. Models with responsive foam to cradle your body for essential support in stomach and back sleeping positions plus enhanced cooling features to keep you from overheating at night. That is the worst. That's the worst when you can't have the covers over you where you can just have them over like kind of like in between your legs and then up under uh, up under your head with one arm, but you can't put them fully over you. No, not, not with Helix, not with their cooling features. And if your spine needs some extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress is a hybrid design combining individually wrapped steel coils in the base with premium foam layers on top. It's a perfect combination for comfort and support. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows. I say pillows. Some people say pillows. I've always said pillows. It's one of those words I say weird. Go to helix.com slash relax. This is the best offer yet and it will not last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. Helix.com slash relax. My little silly 10 minute song made you hungry. You I had to go have a so, snack. It did make me hungry. I have I didn't eat enough for, food. I think you forget food. I know. It's as a, a concept. I know. Um, that wasn't technically my relax. Well, what's your relax? Well, I'm so excited to talk to you, first of all. I like to hear your voice. I know. We never get to talk. Yeah. And thank you for speaking. I'm excited to speak. Loud. Yeah. What's your relax? It's so good to hear you? your uh, sweet little voice. Oh, your cute thank little, you. Your cute little baby voice. You. <laughs> What's your relax baby voice? Um, I have a few. Okay. Can we go through them? Yes. Okay. Uh, I would. I would like for you to know mm -hmm. that tonight, today, tonight, I got, tonight, 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 I got a nice fellow discount. What does that mean? That I went to a place and bought some things, and the person that what when rung me up today. They gave me a nice fellow discount. What does that mean? And it made me so happy with uh, humanity. I don't know. Wait, I'm, I have so many questions. When okay. did you go <clears throat> buy things? Earlier this afternoon. For Like I ran out for a second. Okay. To a store. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give their name. Okay. Bought That's fine. two things. And like most stores, and maybe I brought this up before, but they always, when you check out now, it's not like, give me your money. Thanks for the money. Here's your thing. They're like... Uh, do you have an email with us? Mm -hmm. Do you have a phone number with us? Are you a club member? Are you, you know, are you special? Um, and generally my response is like, no, no, thank you. Like I'm, I've learned to be polite about it um, to where I, like they ask for that. And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I say, no, thank you. Like we teach our kids, mm -hmm. um, which I said today. But apparently that made me a nice fellow that I, I wasn't like mean about it. And so the person ringing me up wasn't like, oh, you're not a member. Okay. You don't get any member, but the person that that rung me up was like, "Oh, well, I'm going to scan a card anyway to see Aww. if you get any money off because you're a nice fellow. You seem like you, she she said you seem like a nice fellow. Well, she was flirting with you. So then, with my purchase, she scanned her card, 
I got six dollars off my purchase. What'd you buy? Stuff. Okay. And then and then and she goes, I go, Oh, well, oh geez, thank you so much. He goes, Yeah, well, if you sign up, you know, you get this, but like I'm just giving you that because you're a nice fellow. It's my nice fellow fellow discount. Lovey, she's and it, flirting with it you. It made me <laughs> I don't think she was. Yes, she was. But it made me like so. I don't know, something about the um, flirting? being called and <laughs> flirting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to it. You know what I mean? It's been a while um, to be called a nice fellow. Yeah. And to get the nice fellow discount. That's so sweet. Uh, made me so happy and made me want to like pass it on. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Made me want to flirt with other people, you know? Yeah. Just flirt around. So how did that go? <laughs> did, then, did you go to another store? And I didn't flirt? talk to anybody else. Like <laughs> <laughs> I talked to like one person a day. That's not you or our kids. Or, yeah, our children. And, but they never give me that discount. I've like never that. gotten that discount. I don't know. It made me, I feel like I, I blushed. Because she was flirting with you? Yeah. Oh my um, God. And I'm, I just wanted you to know that somebody else <laughs> called me a nice fellow <laughs> and gave me a nice... Fellow That's discount. so sweet. It was so pleasing. Are wait, you so wait, does this need to relax? I'm confused. No, I think I just wanted to tell oh, you I that. Thought, I thought this was a relax. I think, well, the relax would be like the the memberships to things. Like if yes. you're, you're going to give people discounts, like why be so elitist about it? Like if you're yeah. selling it for that price, why can't everybody, you really need to email me three times a week mm-hmm. um, for, for me to get the discount. I have to get your emails. Yeah. Like you're a store on the side of the road. Like, mm-hmm. Uh, like, I don't get it. I think I'm a member of like, like REI. And, I don't know what that and is. Ro- it's a, like an outdoor sports goods kind mm. of like camping kind of place. Mm-hmm. And like Ralph's. Yeah. You know, um, like grocery stores. But even that, I'm like, why, are, why do I have to, why do you, right. they're not emailing though. Are you getting emails no, from Ralph's? No, 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 of course not. No, they're not. not. Yeah. So that's fine. They're nice fellows. Yeah. No, but there's, but the other ones, they want to send you an email three times a week. Yeah, no, it's the worst. And I see it because in my email, there's an unsubscribe feature and you see how frequently these companies mm-hmm. email you. And I just feel like it's too much. You know, I agree. I don't, yeah. I won't sign up for anything. They'll be like, you can get a hundred percent off your purchase today. We'll if you give it to your you email. for free. We will give you a hundred dollars. We'll give you your, and what you, you want. Your, and, and I'll be we'll like, no, thank you. Cash. I'll be no, like, no, thank you. no, thanks. I know I'm the same I'm, way. I will not. It doesn't matter. They'll be like, and I've had so many people be like, really? You get 30% off right. I everything. Know. And I'm like, yep. Don't want it. Just because that's how much I do. You don't, don't want the points? Yeah, do you know the you, points? Do you know nope, many, it's I don't. It's double points this never week. Never want them. You don't want the points? I never want them. Another thing I bought. Nothing you could ever give me would be worth getting the emails. You know what's funny? Nothing. Guess what? What? The chair you're sitting in. Mm-hmm. I could have gotten points. And you didn't? Because I bought that chair this week. You know, you're a member at the place you bought this chair, right? <laughs> so. But I just didn't want to. You didn't want to put in your phone number? I didn't, know. But you're already a member, so you already get the emails. I know. I just didn't want to touch the thing. Oh my gosh. It's weird that the thing now has the plastic over the thing. It's like there's the buttons and then there's the plastic over the buttons, but people are still touching it. It's weird how they have the button shaped plastic over the buttons. I think you can clean the plastic. You can't clean the buttons. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Because, like, if you spray something onto the buttons and wouldn't go into the the machine, I would assume. So they made a Plastic, plastic thing that goes on top of it specifically for those I don't know. exact I just, I buttons. I completely made this up. And they're but like, washing the plastic cover of the buttons. They're not washing. I don't that. know, love. I don't, want to, I don't want to touch it. I don't, I don't blame you. I, I get know. it. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't, but also, what do the points do? Because the points aren't a discount. They're just points. I don't know. They email you on your birthday and say, happy birthday. Here, Here's all your points. Here's that mean points. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I know is that like I as, was a member many moons ago at like Sephora or something. One yeah. of those makeup places. And I did get, get a bunch of points every time I bought stuff. And then eventually they're like, oh, would you want to turn in some of your points? You get a, you get something. And I was like, yeah. And they're like. Stickers? No, it was like, as pretty much. <laughs> it was like a sample of <sighs> like a lotion that like I would never use or like a sample size mascara that sucked. Like it wasn't yeah. like something I would ever use. So it's like, wait, I saved up all these points and dealt with all of your emails for three years to right. get like. A very tiny lip you gloss that I don't a like. Four email a day for three hundred and sixty-five days. For two uh, applications of a lip gloss that I do not like, or a perfume that I won't wear. Yeah, you know. Um, so, well, it's obvious I, that there's like I'm. Mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there's, it's obvious that there's an ul- ulterior motive there. If they have your information, right? Well, I think it, the emails must work on people, so it's worth it to them for the sales. For their, yeah, like, they've determined their marketing department do. has determined that if we email these people three times a week, eventually they're going to be like, "Oh yeah, I that think thing." You've been like, "Oh, I got an email about constantly something." Constantly works yeah. on me. It works yeah. on me every yeah, time. That's why I don't want you. them to, <laughs> to give me my email. Because I don't think I've ever got an email and been work. like, "I need to buy that." 
I don't think, I oh, think I'm see, too I'm always stubborn. Like, oh, I forgot about that online shopper store. Yeah. What do they have? Oh, I'm too stubborn. Right. 30% so. off fall sale. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'll look. Yeah. No, fine. I'll get the one thing. Well, I'm going to get the one thing. I'll get the other thing. I'm not I, touching any buttons. Can I tell you one of my problems? Wait, do we have time? No, yeah, we do. Okay. One of my toxic traits that I've noticed recently about myself is Here. if I'm shopping online or in person at a store, doesn't matter if it's in a store or on the internet. If I only have one thing in my cart, even if it's, I want it desperately. Like I'm like, I want this. So it's this shirt. You can't just buy one thing. I cannot. No. I will not. What are you insane? I have never gone into a store and been like, oh my God, I love this pair of pants or I love this shirt or I love this whatever. And that was the only thing I could find and then bought it. Like I'm like, what's no. the point? What is the point of standing in line like to buy weirdo. this? That's weird. So I can't do even it. Even if you're one thing, you get up and you're like, oh, desperately. Like, I, what do you like? What what else can I throw in here? I've been desperately trying to find the kit. The babies are growing out of their pajamas a little bit. And most of their pajamas are just getting, they're, they're crawling everywhere. Their pajamas get gross in the mornings. You know, totally know what you mean. So yeah. it's time for them to get a, a few new pair of pajamas. Sure. And I like getting them this like really soft bamboo material, not because I'm super bougie, but because they have very sensitive skin. And so like, if we get them any other kind of material, sometimes they've broken out in a little rash. Have you ever bought before an whatever. adult clothing item made of bamboo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Anyway, well, because the, the places I get their pajamas from. I, I haven't. Yes, you have. Because for we've, me? Yeah, Bums and Roses has, has oh, okay. sent us stuff before, gifted us shirts and pajama pants and stuff. They're so soft. It's like the softest, like coziest material. Anyway, um, but that's what I like to get them. But they're very expensive. Those pajamas, like usually for babies to have those well, made of pajamas bamboo. that like bamboo They've material. They've grinded down it's bamboo like into a, a soft 40, fabric. 50 bucks for a singular pajama. And I have twins. And then I also always want to get one for Flynn. And it's like 150 bucks for like three pair. No, that's crazy. So I always wait for a sale. I've been having major issues because I've been, I, every night I'll look at all the different places you can buy the bamboo pajamas. The you bums do and do roses, this every night. The bums and roses, the, um, the posh peanut, the, there's like one called Monica and Andy. There's, I mean, there's so many different locations. You get yeah, these, you know, them kite, yeah. you know, there's all these different ones. Of course. And, and I go through all of them, look at all the sales and I try to find some that are on sale that are in their size. Um, cause I refuse to buy them at full price cause they're so expensive. And, I can, if I can, I'll find like one pair of pajamas on this website. That's their size. That's on sale. One pair of pajamas on this website. That's on size. That's their sale. But since I can't find more than one on mm -hmm. any of these, I, I haven't done it yet. I haven't, I haven't bit the bullet or whatever that phrase is. Is that the phrase? Bit the bullet? Yeah. Bite. I don't know. I can't do it. I'm like, I can't buy just one pair of pajamas for them from a website. What am I going to open up a box and only has one pair of pajamas? Well, I in think it? that's, it's crazy. Very earth friendly conscious of it. You don't want them to do like all the shipping like, waste. Like a waste. All that stuff. I like, yeah. but even if I were to go into a store and I only found one pajama that I like, like I wouldn't get it. I'd need to get, and I know there's twins. So obviously I'm getting two, but still that doesn't count. Like they're each getting one. No, get out of here with that. So I've been having big drama with this and I realized it's this. like awkward. If you find one thing you're going to get, you're like, Oh, I need a little something else. You know you what I mean? You have to get something else. It's a little bit strange. I'm so glad you agreed with me on this the one because item. I thought you were going to say I was crazy. And I feel like a lot of listeners are going to be like, what is she talking about? There's something it. about it. Like if I can't just get one thing, I like absolutely not. Yeah. Even if I'm getting food, if I'm like, Oh, I'm let's say McDonald's like, oh, I'm really craving like Told, oh, uh, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm craving like a cheeseburger. I'll put the cheeseburger in cart. I'm like, well, I can't just get that. Not because I'm hungry for more. So because like, there. it's embarrassing maybe. Yeah. To have like a delivery guy just bring like. Coming all the way out here. Just a cheeseburger and fries. I'm like, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, I feel like I should get more things. Yeah, speaking, so it looks like I'm my, feeding lots of people. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, she's have, busy. There, She has company. She yeah, can't go get this. I have, I have to get it for her. Yeah, that's why. So it's like cheeseburger, fries, chicken nuggets. I'll eat one or two, you know, I'll eat yeah. some. I should get something else. Yeah. I always I, add, like, add stuff for the kids knowing that they're not going to eat it. I always add stuff for you. Right. Yeah. Or, like, or you and like knowing that you're not going to eat it, but like, then it's like not just my one little wrap. But then we have wrap. leftovers for later. Or the kids, the yeah. kids usually eat well, whatever what I get. Is then I also, I eat the wrap and then I eat the thing that I ordered for you or the kids. Yeah. You can't just get one thing. What can't. a waste. That's we've also, speaking of eat, um, ordering food, that's another thing we've done is like, oh, I'm going to order blank. Do you want anything? No. Oh, then I won't. Have you, you noticed that? Like, it's like, right, yeah. like, oh, I'm going to order, gonna I'm gonna order from this I'm restaurant. Order. No, I don't want that. Oh, fine. I won't get anything. Yeah. That's enough. yeah so then you don't get anything. And I, I literally hungry. ate a bag of old croutons that <laughs> came with a salad that you had ordered two weeks ago the other day because you didn't want anything from the restaurant <laughs> that I ordered from. I was like, oh, you don't want anything from there? I'm not just going to order my one thing. Right. And it went in the pantry. What is that? And there was this weird old bag of like takeout croutons. And I just ate that and went about my day. 
Like, I survived. What is that? What, why is, why is that? That we're like, we can't just get the one. It makes way more sense to get the one thing. Just get the one thing. Why, why, why we feel like we need to do multiple taxes, things? Taxes, fees, delivery, yeah, but then you end up spending fees, more tip. Just because you're buying more things. It, it, it makes no sense. Right. They would be the same, wouldn't they? Yes. For just the one thing. But it's embarrassing. It is. Em- <laughs> why is it embarrassing? Bring just the one thing. I can't explain why, but it's embarrassing to me. Oh, I have another thing to talk about. Okay. We'll go to the break, but then I have something I wanted to say that I think you'll totally relate to, hopefully. Um, but let's say thanks to our next sponsor. I'm so happy you're back talking. Me too. But I'm going to have to stop talking right when we're done with the podcast. But, um, oh, I'll just wait. I'll, we'll be right back. Guys, I've been going to the gym lately. Not going to lie. I have a wellness routine and you know, what's not good at the gym, the water from their water bottle refiller station. So I don't drink it. I fill my water bottle at home and guess what my secret trick is. I put liquid IV in it. Liquid IV is a category winning hydration brand fueling your well-being and their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning before a workout, when you feel run down after a long night out or a long flight. What I like most, uh, well, one of the things I like most about Liquid IV is its convenient packaging. It comes in these like little like paper tube type, I don't know if it's made of paper deals where I can just pour it into a water bottle, like, like super easily without spilling it everywhere and making a mess. And I also love the flavors. There are so many to choose from, uh, my favorites, uh, passion fruit, guava, acai berry. I feel like that's acai. I feel like that was always the thing that was like, this is, this is good for you. I don't know. It's in there. They got that flavor. Concord grape. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. That's right, the four Bs and the one C with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Made with premium ingredients, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. That's why to date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings to 50 plus countries around the world. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code RELAX at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code RELAX at liquidiv.com. Okay, so I have something I want to talk about. Okay. Because I feel like maybe you'd relate, but maybe not. I don't know. So there's something that I do that I realized the other day when I was in LA with Corey. And I asked Corey about it. He's like, I do the same thing. And I'm like, I wonder how universal this is. So I went to the doctor to get my throat checked out. And he looked at it and says, healing, all is well, whatever. But when I was done with the doctor, it was like, 4.30 4.30 p.m. in Beverly Hills, right? And I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to get on the on a Friday? If you live anywhere in Los Angeles, you know that, that is like horrendous. 4.30 on a Friday. Yeah, I think anywhere. And you have a long drive, like, oh, yeah. misery. So I was just like, we, ju- we had just gotten out of the car driving like two hours. Went to the doctor. I was in there for 15 minutes. And it was like, oh, we have to get back in the car and be in the car for like more hours. I like, Oh, I just need fresh air. So I was like, let's just walk around a bit. But we're in Beverly Hills, right? Like right by Rodeo drive. Like we're like down where like all the fancy stuff. Is. I went with you the two previous times. You didn't want to walk around. Well, because I w- had gotten bad news. I was crying. Oh, right. You were crying in the streets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this time you got good news. Kind yeah, of. And so you're well, like, I'm going to walk around. It was Friday at four 30. Yeah, like it was much different. I guess different. we hadn't gone on a Friday. And we also had waited. So like the other times you and I went, we went to the doctor. We were sitting there for a while. We were there at the doctor for a long time. It and was this quick, time it was quick. Time? Okay. So it was like, I, we had just gotten out of the car after a long drive in traffic on a Friday to the doctor. So anyway, yeah. I was like, let's walk around. And we walked around for 10 minutes, maybe, because I was like, maybe we can do some shopping or something, wait for traffic to die mm, down. Not around there, no. Well, I know that it's like fancy schmance stores, but whatever. But Did I was you see like, the date store where they only sell dates? Like to go on a date with someone? No, like like a fig, like a date. Like a, oh. like a, like there's, there's literally like a Beverly Hills. I like my idea date. better. 
buy a date with someone. Just okay, like, yeah, sure. Um, anyway. They probably have that too. Maybe your girlfriend's in there who gave you the nice fellow discount. I am a nice fellow. <laughs> anyway, so um, we go into, so I was like, I'm obviously not going to buy anything at like Balenciaga and like all these like fancy, whatever these stores are. I don't even know. Are they all right there? Type of was it stuff. around the corner? Yeah, it's like all, all the stores are like really like wooden hanger type stores. You're like, uh, wooden oh. hangers can't go in there. Like wooden hangers? Yeah. So, Nobody else shopping, just one person standing there yeah. eagerly and like it looks like they don't have lots of clothes it looks like they only have one of each clothing item do you know what i mean like you, that's yes have you ever been like, a store where the that. door is locked and they have to unlock it for you to definitely not yeah me neither um so i was like well maybe there's like a clothing store so i looked at there's clothing stores around i was like for kids a kids clothing stores like i like shopping for our kids i've been looking for freaking pajamas so it's like oh this they'll have bamboo pajamas in this area like yeah this is a bamboo pajama yeah, kind of I'll place have to pay full price but well you know whatever so I go into this kid's store, lovey, it's wild. I walk in and they have really cute, frilly little baby clothes and stuff. I was like, oh, this stuff is so cute. And I go up to um, this dress, like it was a white, simple dress, right? And it was like $400 for a baby. And I was like, what? Shut up. And so then I walk to the back of the store and I see headbands and Wesley and Maisie both have been having fun with headbands lately. Easter, an Easter headband that I got at the dollar store that has like bunny ears, right? They love putting it on. They love taking it off. Like they love these bunny ears. So I was like, oh, I should do a headband for Maisie or even for Wes. Like they love it. And there's this really pretty headband with like pearls all over it. And I was like, oh, that's so perfect because Maisie means pearl. And, and they, she could wear this. And it they're was like so real pretty. pearls. And it was. Love, wow, it was $400 for a headman for Shut a baby. Up. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, I did this thing that I have found myself doing many a time in you many didn't stores. Buy it, did you? Absolutely not, love. Are you kidding? Anyway, I did something that like I do often. And I was like, I wonder you how many people. No. <laughs> Never came back. I'm in a store. I'm like, oh, this is cute looking around. They're like, hi, how are you? I'm like, good, how are you? And then I am i don't really, I think maybe this is an expensive store, but I don't know how much. I'm like, I'm willing to pay a little bit extra today. You know, whatever. I look at the price of his headband and immediately my brain goes, I am done. Obviously I'm not going to shop in the store. This is yeah. an insane, this store is insane. So I did what I do often when I find out a store is too expensive for me. And I go, I look at the price and go, Hmm. And try to not look alarmed by the price. Yeah. Try to look like, oh, interesting. I, I'll I'll think about if I'm going to buy this four hundred dollar headband. When in my For brain, baby, yeah. I'm obviously like, that is absurd. I'm not buying this. But my outer experience to anyone watching me would be like, oh, she's thinking about buying that maybe. And then I have to. Oh, this is the worst part because I'm impatient. Yeah, what's the part? The next part is I then have to like pretend I'm kind of still shopping in the store a little bit, even though I know I got to uh -huh. get out of here. I can't afford this place. I don't want this place. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to buy anything in here. So I, whenever this happens, I go to a store, I look at a price of the first thing. If it's mm -hmm. too expensive, I'm like, Oh, interesting. Yeah. And then I like walk around the store and like, mm, and like pick up a couple of things to look at it. Like I literally pretend like I'm going to shop there because I'm too embarrassed yeah. to just like walk out it's after like looking and, at the price tag. And scene. Yeah, after so, you see that, yeah. But do you know what, have you ever done that where you like look at a price tag and then you're like, I gotta leave this place, but I can't leave right now. So I have to pretend like I'm still shopping here for a minute. So the people who own the store don't think I'm like super cheap and like you know what I'm saying? Like it's embarrassing, like look at a price tag, see it's too much, and then just leave the store. Like I can't do that. Yeah, that happened um to me when I went with you on your tour to I think it was in Seattle. Like I was walking around like uh, in between sound check and something else. And like I said before, there was a store that was like, but it was like only like, like it was a like little like, but it was like men's clothing store. And I was like, Oh, that's me. And I went up to the door and it was locked and I was like, Oh, they're closed. But then a guy rushed up. But you just said you'd never been to one of these. I lied. Okay. And so it, this is why I know that this exists. This one instance is the only time it's ever happened to me. And he unlocked the door and he's like, Oh, we're open. We just keep the door locked. I guess to keep I don't know. Out. I don't know. Bugs. Did you say bugs? Yeah. To keep bugs out. <laughs> so then he let me in, closed the door behind me, relocked the door. So now I'm in this lock store. I would think store. I was getting kidnapped. I know. A lock store alone with this older man and just like, you know, put wooden hangers, evenly spaced, only one size each, yeah. like small to XL. That's it. Like four. I per, don't even go into those stores. Per, I, I, well, I didn't know. I didn't know it was. I got like kind of trapped into it. And then I looked through, like, I was like, this store is crazy. You would actually send me out because it was very cold. And you were like, can you find me mittens somewhere? Oh, yeah. So I was like mm -hmm. looking for like mittens freezing. or scarves or whatever. So that was on a mission for you. And then I, and then I, I'm like, looking around and he's like, oh, are you looking for any particular? And I just go, uh, mittens. He points me to mittens and I go and look at the mittens and I kid you not. 
like just like you said about the baby scarf, four hundred dollars. And then I was like, oh yeah, good man, good, good mittens. What else do they have? And then I just like we like went right. on, but then I didn't want to touch anything because they were so evenly spaced yeah. on the racks that I'm like messing up, and it's just me and him in there. The door's locked. Like so he's like watching me. So where you you know? And then he's starting to have a conversation with me, which I definitely don't want. Um, yeah, no, that's and I no booked good. it out of there, but it was yeah, it was. But I pretended to shop Give me a for like store. five minutes. I want a department store. I want clothes like on the floor. Like yes, a messy rack, like half hanging off the rack. Yes, that's like my. It's, a, it's just me, a, I want, a mess in there. That's all I want. I want it in Music every a hundred of them in every size. Spray your colognes everywhere. That's what I want. But yeah, I, I would never go to a store like that. But this baby store looked like it was just like a baby store. It just it didn't look like super bougie, so I didn't think it was. You're like, oh, baby you're on Rodeo store. Drive in Beverly Hills. And you're like, this looks that, cheap. Th- that was not on Rodeo Drive. It was on like some different street. And it How didn't... far did you walk? Not far at all. Okay. There's not one street in Beverly Hills. There's a couple, but I don't know. You said um, it was a short walk. It wasn't. Yeah, we were 10 minutes. You know, it's next to a Sprinkles Cupcake store or something. Uh-huh. So I was like, oh, this is like. Cupcakes. And- cupcakes. That's like the people are shopping at all these Sprinkles is Prada fancy. type places. They're not going to get they sprinkles. sprinkles at the Grove. It's like fancy. It's like a fancy cupcake. The Grove is not fancy, is it? Come on. I don't know. Is it grow fancy? Sure. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know that. Sprinkles, I think, was like the fanciest cupcake you could get. <gasps> Do you want to know that? And cr- then like other cupcake people were like, oh, we can sell cupcakes for lots. Of, we can be like fancy cupcake people. And then What's the ratio ones- that you want on a cupcake? The ratio? Mm-hmm. Frosting to cake is what I'm talking about, obviously. One to, two, one to two, probably. Okay. But in which direction, darling? I'm talking like two parts cake, one part frosting. So you Enough want- so that you break the cake in half, put the the butt of the cake on the top, top of the, of the frosting and make a frosting cake so sandwich. So the half, half the amount of cake is how much frosting you want? Yeah. So if it's this much cake, that no. much frosting. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of frosting. I'm a frosting wait, guy. Wait, so you went double the I know, frosting? I know. I think this is an insane wait, 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 no, argument. No, I'm, 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 I'm People have had this in the public discourse before that they don't like frosting, too no, much no, frosting, but, I know, but no, I think I misunderstand. So if your cake, this is how much cake you want, you want that much frosting? You want double the frosting. No, two parts cake, one part frosting. That's what I thought you said originally, but then with your hand. I I know, but with your hand. You You don't understand fingers? Well, you want this much cake, this much frosting. Do you understand fingers? I do. You you, you want like this This and this. This much cake. This and this. So you want this much I'm frosting on top of the cake? cake. No, oh, I'm, I'm okay. elevating the cake. Well, you said this I'm not much saying frosting. this much cake, this much That's frosting. I'm saying, saying this much cake, okay. and then it goes this high with frosting. Okay, got it, got it. So you want? I now can see how that uh, yeah, would yes, be confusing. Yes. So I want like a quarter of the cake amount. Like I know you don't or like even less. I want the frosting. I can't eat a dry cake. I want the frosting for sure. Yeah, but just like a little bit of frosting. Well, too much is like it's too much, especially but for you. If you're a sweet person. But here's why I don't like it, love, because if you get a cupcake anywhere that's not in my house from those like cheap one dollar tub of frostings and things like the frosting's not good. It's too like airy. I don't want all that. Or it's too dense. It's like always there's I've never had a good frosting from like a cupcake store. Get out of here. Never. Not I'll a chance. I'll bring you to the one down the street. I won't like it. It's so good. It's insane. I won't like it. Well, this cupcake talk is making me very hungry. For what? For food. So I'm going to make my artichokes. I'm so freaking You're gonna excited. You're going to make artichokes now? Yes, of course. I've, I've been waiting all day to eat these Maybe artichokes. midnight. I'm so excited. If you run out of choke. So my, the twins were made of artichokes and in and out I made artichokes all the time when I was pregnant with twins. So did I for you. Yes. Um, and That's how um, I learned. And in and out Those are like the two things I crave the most, I think. Anyway, we're going to go. I'm going to make some artichokes. Thanks for listening, everybody. I don't know what we'll be like next week. Hopefully I'll be... Having a voice still, but I don't know because I'm going on tour. I'm going to Philly and Huntington this weekend. Philadelphia? Yes. Huntington. New York. <gasps> and so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how that podcast is going to work for next week. We'll see. It'll be interesting to figure out how we've figured out to podcast while I'm on tour. How do we figure anything out? I don't know, love. I literally don't know at this point. I don't point. know what's happening. Give us a break. We got baby baby twins. Can we call them baby still or are they toddlers now? They're toddlers. <sighs> You've been calling him newborns for a year and a half, love. <laughs> you know, He's still like when whenever he gets, I want pity, I'm like, sorry, I have newborn twins. Yeah, I'm like, they're a year and a half. Right. They're talking. I know. <laughs> they're in college. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.